Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at one of the probably best free remote desktop softwares in 2019 now you can use this completely free and it's a great way to uh, remote into a computer that may be around the world or one of your family members and you can use this to fix a lot of problems now this one is uh, made by cloudberry it's called cloudberry remote assistant now again, this is completely free and it's a great way of supporting family members or people around the world that you maybe want to connect up to and fix and resolve a lot of common issues. You can do unattended access on your own machines, also quick support uh, for your, all your clients, or you can do file transfer across uh, from uh, one machine to another and it may not even be in the same country. Now again, uh, all you need to do here is go to Clabbery. Uh, labs website and uh, download the software there's two versions the remote assistant full version which you would need to put in your email address and download and install the software i'll show you both versions and also we do have another version which is the remote assistant quick support and uh, i'll show you that version as well on the other machine and the good thing about the uh, quick version is that it doesn't need to be installed and you don't need no administrator privileges it does support uh, Windows 7 right up to Windows 10 and also Windows Server and they are your system specifications so why I like uh, this software is it's so easy to use so I'm just going to quickly put in my uh, email address here and download the full installation version on this machine and I will then use the other version which is uh, the uh, quick uh, support version uh, on there as well and I'll show you that so basically I'm going to go ahead and install this. It will give you, you will see a little activation code there which we need to copy and uh, use that to activate our installation software. The quick setup or quick support one uh, doesn't need that I don't think. So we're just going to go ahead and install the software. So let's go ahead and let this finish off. It shouldn't take too long. There we go. Leave the tick in the run Cloudberry remote assistant and click finish. And now it'll ask for that little key code. It should all automatically be in the box and then click finish and activate. So now we're going to take a look here. We've got the encryption, which we can use. So we can use encryption to connect up to our system. And we can also allow unattended access as well, which is a nice added feature. And if you want to use the encryption, you can do. And you can regenerate a key if you want to as well. Also here, we can take a look at the general tab got a bunch of settings here which you can mess around with and change which is your default sound option which is muted uh, but if you want to unmute that you could do and also save chat messages you can also have this set up the way you want it also you got application features minimize to system tray incoming connections prevent incoming connections also full control or view only and we also have a bunch of other stuff here which you can set up as well let's go on to the file transfer this is a location where you would allow the download location for the files that you may need to send to uh, the person that's having issues uh, with their computer also we have proxy settings here and also login as well if you need to keep logs of everything you have done on the system which is very useful click OK here and we're going to go back now this is the actual allow remote control of my system so if I need to allow someone to connect to this machine I can click on allow remote control and give them these details which I see on the front panel here now also there is a menu set up here which you can go through and take a look at and there's a bunch of features in here like check for updates and stuff like that now if I want to connect to this laptop here I'm going to go to the Cloudberry website and I would download uh, the software now I'm going to download the remote assistant quick support and click run this will then run on the system and this is what you would be instructing the person who you need to connect to now if they've got a firewall they obviously need to allow that to go through the firewall and there we go it's now give us the box popping up no installation pretty straightforward and easy to do so now we've got the instructions here on the screen we've got the computer ID and the pin number this is the computer ID and pin number that you need to give to the person who you are going to allow to connect to your computer 
you can then uh, write down this information and give it to the person that you want to allow to connect to your computer. So here we go. So I'm going to change this setting to control a remote con uh, computer. This means I'm going to take control of someone else's computer. So now I would put in the ID inside here, which that person has now given me. Now, if there is obviously encryption, you can click on the three dots on the right hand side, and this will then allow uh, encryption. So you'd need to put in the key if you've allowed uh, encryption on your system. If not, then you don't need to worry about that and you can click on connect. It will start to connect to the system and it will ask for the pin number. This is where you would enter in your pin number, which that person has given you to connect to their PC. Now, don't worry, once we've finished doing the remote session, uh, this will then uh, disconnect and you will not be able to connect to that PC. So I'll show you a quick uh, video screenshot here of the laptop and how we've connected to it very easily. There we go, we are now connected to the laptop and as you can see here, I've got full remote control of that laptop and I can uh, work on the laptop from a remote uh, destination. So I could be in the UK and the person that I'm taking remote control of their computer from could be anywhere in the world basically. Now you can see here I can open up a chat window and chat to the person via the chat method here. I can also uh, send files to that person if I needed to send a certain file over so I can scan on their system. I can do that, maybe it'll be a driver or something like that. I can do all of that via the remote connection. Now what you will need to do is make sure that you've got a good sturdy remote connection uh, to connect to that person. And uh, there's a bunch of other features inside here which you can do as well. Now another thing that may be a bit concerning to some people is can that person reconnect to my system once they've closed the uh, session down? And the answer to that is no, they won't be able to connect uh, to your computer without your say so. And the good thing is that uh, if you want to set up a, uh, an unattended a session, then you could do that and they could connect up whenever they wanted to. So if you've got the both options there, a bit of security where you might not want uh, someone to connect in afterwards, or you might want to set up an unattended session where you can remote into systems at, uh, at your own will without having to go through this whole process. So it's pretty straightforward and easy to do, and it's a great way to fix and support computers all around the world, maybe friends and family, or you want to uh, support uh, a friend and family or something like that, and they've got a problem with their audio or something like that, you can use this software to just remote in and fix their problems for them. So it's a pretty powerful bit of software and it's free to use, and I'll leave all the information in the video description for you. And uh, as you can see here, this software is packed with features and it's very easy to use and it's a great piece of software and the most important thing is it's free to use which is really uh, a nice added bonus so there we go that is pretty much the cloudberry uh, remote assistant if you need to take remote support of someone's computer and try to resolve any problems with it then something like this is essential to have so i want to say a big thank you to cloudberry for sponsoring this video and uh, I'll leave all the information for this in the video description. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.